Hey guys, it's Kerry. I've got some new sea animals today. Craviotoceros is an extinct genus of ammonite. They were fast moving, nectonic carnivores that existed many years ago in Japan. Lobster, they have eight walking legs, the front three pairs bear claws, the first one of which are larger than the others. The front pincers are also biologically considered legs, so they belong to the order Decapod. Pleuroceros is a genus of ammonite from the lower Jurassic period. Species of this genus were fast-moving nectonic carnivores. Dungeness crab. The large claws are used both as defence and to tear apart large food items. Nautilus pompilius. They are found in the South Pacific, off the coast of Australia, Japan and Micronesia. Anglerfish. They use their modified luminescent fin ray as a lure to attract other fish. Giant squid. They are a bit of a mystery. The largest one found measured 18 metres in length and weighed nearly a ton. They live in very deep and cold water which is not easily accessible to scientists and divers. Like other squid, they release ink in which to hide so they can make their escape. Please subscribe and turn on notifications. Stingray. They are a group of sea rays which are cartilaginous fish related to sharks. The stingray's mouth is located on the ventral side of the vertebrate. Octopus. With reproduction, most male octopus have a specialised extra long arm which acts like a penis. It's called the hectocotylus and it delivers sperm from a distance. It has a sperm groove down it and specialised tip. This is an adaptation to mating with cannibalistic females that frequently kill and eat mouths during or after copulation. To mate, a male will insert his hectocotylus into the female's mantle cavity and deposit sperm packets. This process may take up to several hours depending on the species. Females store the sperm until they are ready to lay their eggs. Typically, males die within months after mating, while females watch over their eggs until they hatch and then die shortly after. Spiny lobster. They can be easily distinguished from true lobsters by their very long, thick, spiny antennae and by their lack of chile or claws on the first four pairs of walking legs. Sea turtle. They cannot retract their head and limbs into their shells for protection, unlike many other turtles and tortoises. Marbled ray. It can produce a strong electric shock for attack and defense produced by a pair of electric organs derived from muscle tissue. Sally Lightfoot Crab. The females carry their eggs under their bodies until they hatch. To help release larvae from the eggs, she uses her chili. Whale Shark. Due to their ovoviviparous reproductive strategy, female whale sharks provide protection to their internally developing young until they hatch from the eggs and are born. Like all sharks, there is no parental care shown by the females towards pups after they are born. Bull shark. 
is commonly found worldwide in warm shallow waters along coasts and in rivers. It is known for its aggressive nature and presence in warm shallow brackish and freshwater systems including estuaries and rivers. Bull sharks can thrive in both salt and fresh water and can travel far up rivers. The female bull shark is larger than the male. Bull sharks are wider and heavier than any other requiem shark of comparable length. The bull shark is diadromous, meaning they can swim between salt and fresh water with ease. Flamingo, they usually stand on one leg with the other being tucked up beneath the body. As well as standing in the water, flamingos may stamp their webbed feet in the mud to stir up food from the bottom. Flamingos are capable flyers. Spoonbill, all of them have a flat spatulate bill. Heron, they fly with their necks retracted, not outstretched like some other birds. Herons feed on a variety of live aquatic prey. In flight, their legs and feet are held backwards. The feet of herons have long thin toes with three forward pointing ones and one pointing backwards. Killer whale, they are not considered a threat to humans. Goblin shark, their pink colour is due to visible blood vessels beneath the skin. Great white shark is an aggressive predator. Megalodon, fossils have been found in shallow tropical and temperate seas along the coastlines and continental shelf regions of all continents except Antarctica. This bulky torpedo shaped fish with a conical snap, large pectoral and dorsal fins and a strong crescent shaped tail would have ruled the ocean. Megalodon possessed a ferocious bite. Its bite diameter was 3 metres, several times larger than the bite diameter of average sized white sharks. Please stay and watch another video with me. Thank you for watching my video. See you again soon. See you guys in my next video.